Sound rolling. Camera one. Rolling. Camera two. Rolling. My name is Hannah Palmer. I'm the Assistant Director for Academic Projects and Programs here at the Stone Center. Um, and what that means is I have my hand in any of the prod like programming that is ancillary to our undergraduate and graduate programmings. I oversee our summer abroad programs. I work closely with faculty who want to do digital humanities projects like this, the, the Centennial Project. And then I like to participate in whatever way I can with the students. So I'm the liaison for the Lago Graduate Association and try to also get to teach a class and, and interact with the, the undergraduate students as well. So I came to Tulane in 2019, really straight out of graduate school. I was looking to make a change as I was finishing up my PhD. I knew that I wanted to go more the administrative route because I ha had been running summer abroad programs and I loved running summer abroad programs. So this position kind of opened up at the perfect time. Literally, I got the call <laughs> or I got a text message from Valerie McGinley saying she wanted to talk to me on the day that I turned my dissertation into my committee for the final draft. So she sent me the message. I was already in my PJs. I looked at the message and I was like, nope, this will happen tomorrow because I am already done for the day. Um, so it was a couple days later. Uh, we chatted and then I came here directly after defending my dissertation. The Stone Center, or, or Tulane, Latin American Studies at Tulane, really had a, formative, had a formative influence in my career trajectory long before I knew that I wanted to be here or knew I wanted to do administration. So my background is in indigenous literatures, and this was a place that a lot of my, the scholars that I admired and worked with really closely in my dissertation came from. So the number of times I cited Victoria Bricker, Vicki Bricker, in my dissertation <laughs> is, is really incredible. So it was amazing to get the chance to be here and work with some of those people or, or, or the legacy that they left here. Um, since being here, it's been a place of incredible growth for me as I'm changing directions a little bit. I, I had been teaching and, and here I've learned so much about what it means to administer programs and really be a support for the kind of academic work that happens at the university. The memory I think that best encapsulates um, my time here at the Stone Center was in the summer of 2020. So I had got here in 2019 i ran the summer programs one year in person and then the pandemic hit in the spring of 2020 and we kind of scrambled to figure out what we would do with them and managed to get amazing buy-in from all of our professors and the other administrators we work with to take these programs online so we did the kachikel and kiche maya language programs online and i got to participate in a really new and exciting way so i'll never forget being in the Kachikel Klausura, the final day of classes, and getting to see the students. They, they prepared a class for their teachers to teach them English. So it was a Kachikel English language class, and, and the teachers became the students and participated. And there was so much laughter and so much joy. There was a moment in which everybody had to get up and dance. So it was just a Zoom screen full of like torsos swaying to the marimba music. And, it was, it was such a beautiful moment because I saw we were all so isolated in our homes. We were all so separate, but the work we were doing was bringing people together and creating community even over these distances, even when we couldn't touch each other physically or be with each other physically. To choose one word that describes the legacy of the Stone Center was actually very difficult. I sat there and thought about this for a good long time and chose one in Spanish. <laughs> so the word that I chose is vinculos. And I think it's a word that really like, sums up what we do here. I think of the way in which we are creating links between different communities. I think of the way that I was linked to the Stone Center even before I knew I was coming here through the work that was coming out of our, our department. And I think about the way that I work with the communities in Guatemala, creating links between our institution and the local teachers there. I think of the links that we're creating with our alumni who come through our different programs and go out to their other home universities. So I really love to think of the way that we are bringing people together across a wide, you know, actually global network. We have these different points of contacts bringing us all together. Okay. Okay.